Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here. So uh, we have to start now speaking about how we can build up a wireless ISP using Microtech products. So Microtech products are really good products in case you want to start doing a wireless ISP. Of course, in this course, I'm going to show you the basic steps. That means in case you only have internet connectivity and you have a couple of routers, then you can start distributing internet service to your customers without any issue. And I'm going to show you all the steps. This course will not cover everything that you can do on the wireless ISP because you can later, of course, put a Redis server, for example, where you can create all the accounts there, you can do the billing and so forth. So this is more an advanced topic. But for now, I just want to show you that by just having few Microtech routers, then you are able to start making a business and distributing wireless internet to your customers. Now, this course and uh, this topic has been requested a lot of times by a lot of my students. They ask me that, yeah, we have internet, we need to distribute internet to our customers. How can we do that? That's the reason why I have decided to do this course. And these requests are mainly coming from uh, countries uh, like in Africa or in uh, the Middle East or in South America, where the internet connectivity is not really as good as in the Western country. So uh, that means that they want to distribute these servers to the customers where possibly there is no internet in uh, areas. And, but also I have seen the same request coming from a lot of countries in rural areas where uh, the internet connectivity is not there, but also they want to distribute it via the wireless and they want to know how to do that. That's the reason why I have made this course. I'm going to build it up in a way that the, why, by taking this course, you'll be able to build a wireless ISP without any problem. Now, let me just show you what is the lab scenario that we are going to work during this course. So you have an idea and also I will tell you what equipment you need to buy to be able to repeat the same labs of this course. So our scenario for the whole course is as following. I have my internet connectivity here. Then I'm going to have Microtech routers. So how many Microtech routers you need for this course? Actually, you need four pieces, four Microtech routers. And uh, of course, I'm going to show you in a moment uh, what uh, Microtech routers you can buy. But uh, just let me show you first the design that we are going to work through this course. And then uh, we will speak uh, in a moment about what Microtech routers you need for this course. Now, over here, the Internet is connected to the main Microtech router. So this is the Microtech router which is going to be installed in the wireless ISP. This is the main one. And uh, I advise you to go to the CCR, which is uh, the uh, bigger uh, Microtech routers uh, possible uh, from Microtech and uh, which can work as core network because all the traffic has to pass through the main router. But for this course, just if you want to do the lab, you can just have any Microtech router, maybe a haplite that's more than enough. Then this one is going to distribute the internet. Then this will have to go to a switch. And also you can get, for example, CRS switch from Microtech, which are a very good one in case you want to really build the, the wireless ISP. For just to do the lab, you can also get a haplite. That's not a problem. All right. So then you have the main switch. And then after that, we have to go to the access point, the main access point, where the internet is going to be distributed via the wireless. All right. So over here, that is the wireless. Now, we, we think that this is put, we have uh, on our ISP, this is on the roof of our uh, ISP, right? We have to put the, the main access point with the antenna over there, and then it's propagating the wireless. Then a customer, which is uh, far from us by 200 meter or one kilometer or whatever, he wants internet. Then we put on his roof also a uh, station over here. Then it's connected to the wireless. And then from here, we can go by a cable down to his network and then uh, he has the internet. All right. So this is the design that uh, we are going to work through this course. So that means how many routers we need. So we have one, two, three, four. So we require four routers where two of them, they should have the capability to do wireless. All right. So if you buy two routers without wireless uh, connectivity, that's no problem. And then you have two routers that you require to have uh, wireless, but also at least one port. So you see, you have here one port Ethernet that we require as well on uh, those uh, two access points. Now, what are the uh, equipment that I'm using in my lab? So uh, I'm using the Haplite. So I'm, uh, if we go to the Microtech website over here and we go to the hardware. So I'm using the uh, haplite and let's uh, first I have this one hex s is going to be for the switch. So the hex s which is uh, this one here is for the switch. 
All right, so here I have a hex S because uh, I don't uh, require to have a wireless and hex S doesn't have wireless capability. So that is one. And then I have uh, the rest are haplites. I can see them over here. They're not showing up. So let me just, uh, we can search for them. Hap light. So haplight, uh, actually those are, this, this is, a, I think it's a, the older one. I have a haplight uh, uh, with the five gigahertz, so AC. So two haplights from those ones because we need them for the uh, wireless. And then one haplight, I have it for the main router. So uh, you can see the price is not very expensive. You see, you can see that. But also you can have this one haplight as well. So anyone which has wireless connectivity, that's fine. So I'm using over here for these uh, three other routers, the main router and the, the, the main access point and the access point for the client. See so here I have Haplite and here I have Haplite and here I have Haplite. So this is how my network is uh, being designed. These are the hardware that uh, I have now. Now for the real ISP, that means if you are really thinking to make a real ISP, these hardwares are not enough to be used because you require to have uh, more traffic because you may have 100, 200, 300 customers and those uh, equipment that are very small to be able to handle all this traffic. So what I advise you to do, for example, for the main router, let's go to the MicroTech website and for the main router, I advise you to go to the CCR. So we go to the, the CCR and uh, you, depending on what uh, mo what the budget you have and also how much traffic you have, anything from those CCR would be fair enough for you. Why? Because look, they have seven gigabit Ethernet port, for example, this one. And uh, look here, it has nine core times one gigahertz CPU, one gigabyte RAM. So you have nine core CPU, one gigabyte of RAM. And uh, the router OS is level six. So that's something like you have to put a budget of 425 US dollars. Then you have the core router. Now for the switch, which one you have to use? So I would go to the CRS. These are the uh, switches that uh, you want to use. And uh, also again, depending on your budget, the best switch I would say is the series 300. So something from CRS 300 uh, plus. So if you want to have many ports, so you can go, for example, for this one. CRS 326, so this is also 189 US dollars, so that's uh, the budget, so 425 and plus uh, 189, so that's something we are here uh, around uh, 600 US dollars. And then for the rest, uh, for the wireless, you need to have some uh, wireless uh, uh, access points which can uh, carry a lot of traffic, but also it can give you connectivity and it has an antenna. So for this reason, what I would advise you to do is to let's go to all products. And uh, we go down over here. And uh, we have to look for this level here, the wireless system. So again, if you want to use 5 gigahertz or you want to use uh, the 2.4 gigahertz and how much is the distance. So all of those things you have to take into consideration. If it's a rainy place, if it's uh, uh, cloudy, if it's... Uh, I don't know, it's snowing. So all of those things, you have to take them into consideration to build up the wireless. But for example, you can take this one, the XT SQ Lite 2. This works on the 2.4 gigahertz. So this is a integrated CPE and backbone. So you can see the price is something like 39 US dollars. So this one, if you go inside of it, so it's having an antenna, but also it has the router OS. You see, it has the router OS over here and uh, it can uh, provide you on 2.4 gigahertz maximum data rate 300 megabit per second so that's uh, more than enough if you want to st start a small isp but also it has one ethernet port that's what uh, we need all right so that's also something you have to look on the uh, micotech website see what is your uh, requirement so for example this one works on the 5 gigahertz um, so uh, that is also possible that you can, if you want to use the five gigahertz, for example. So you have different antennas that you can choose between, depending again on uh, the size of your company and what you want to achieve as data. Of course, if you go to the five gigahertz, you have more throughput, but then the distance becomes less. So with the 2.4 gigahertz, you can go more with the distance. 
So that is what I wanted to show you in this uh, first lecture. So uh, we know what is the network scenario that we are going to work on. And also I showed you what equipment I have. Of course, you have to also have internet service because you are going to share the internet. So you should have internet service. And also you should have at least uh, one computer because at the end we need to see if this computer will be connected uh, to the internet via the wireless that we have uh, created, the wireless ISP. All right. And also I have showed you uh, what uh, are the equipment that in case you really want to have a wireless ISP, then what equipment you can have. Now for this course, I'm going to use only Mikrotik equipment. That doesn't mean that if you want to do a wireless ISP that you require to have only Mikrotik equipment, especially when you work with the antenna or the access point, then you can have also other brands. But yeah, this course is only about Mikrotik, so I'm going to use only Mikrotik products. So I'm not going to put any other products like Ubiquiti or like a Lego Wave or like any other brands. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you in this lecture. In the upcoming lecture, we have to start working, building up our wireless ISP, and we will start first with the main router. So we need to connect it to the internet because it has to be having internet, and then we have to start thinking of what we want to do. Like we have to make a couple of customers, so we have to create new VLANs, putting addresses on the VLANs, doing the DHCP server. So all of those things will be explained in the upcoming lecture. So I hope that this lecture was informative for you and I will see you in the upcoming lecture.